Steve, first up, how excited are you to be back at the Hawthorns and playing in front of the Albion supporters once again? Well, we couldn't ask for a, a more difficult start. We knew Middlesbrough away was going to be difficult. Now we've got, you know, the, the early favourites in, in Watford. It's always good to have your first home game, the dawn of a new season. You know, it's, there's, there's no denying that the last couple of seasons have been disappointing. So here's another one, slates wiped clean, two, three new players to look at. And um, it's going to be difficult, but let's enjoy the challenge of, of trying to beat Watford, who are a very decent team. We've seen in previous seasons in the Championship, Steve, just how important home form is. So in your mind, what are the key ingredients for having a, sol a solid home form? Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, this year the, with the, the World Cup and the month missing, you're condensed. You, you condensed the season a little bit and, uh, and, and you play so many games. So it's imperative that your home form stacks up. Um, you know, there was, there was some good performances at home last year. And, uh, you know, notably when we when I came through the door, you know, the big night against Fulham and the big night against Bournemouth, they ultimately went up. Um, but one thing we, we need to do is make that, you know, that a difficult place to come to. And uh, that's what we've got to try and, and get through. And the only way you do that is by results and playing a certain way. And uh, let's see what we can do. Certainly plenty to build from. After last weekend's 1-1 one, one draw at Middlesbrough, a much improved second half performance, Steve, compared to the first. So how do you get well, the lads sometimes to Sometimes you've got to sometimes you've got a compliment. We knew it was going to be difficult. Middlesbrough score after ten minutes, thirty thousand. There's a feel good factor on Middlesbrough. It was going to be difficult. It took longer to respond than I would like. I think I said that publicly. But second half was much much better and caused a threat to them. Um, in the end, it ended up being a terrific game of football, which could have went either way against two very, very good teams, I, I thought, in the, in, in the end. If I'm being greedy, we could have nicked it, should have. I thought we had the better opportunities. Um, but you're yeah, right, it was far, far better second half. And, you know, there's going to be times when any game you play where there's going to be difficult periods in it. It's how you respond to it, how you get through it and how you come at the end of it. And uh, thankfully, the way we finished... I think everybody was pleased with it. It's a daunting August, seven, potentially eight games if we get through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. So how are you planning to keep all your players? I think that this is the biggest challenge that we all face. It's it's a difficult challenge. The first 12 games in particular and in so many days is, is um, you know, is, is a huge challenge to us all. The substitutions help. I think you're going to see a lot more where Sheffield United did it uh, last week where you bring on three changes uh, to freshen it up if you like look players can play Saturday, Tuesday can play every day but you can't play with the same intensity and your chance of being injured increases statistics tell us that so we have to try and manage that of course we have and the strength and depth is important to us last week to bring on Dean Garner and bring on DK you know we've still got Ricci and Bart behind us and uh, and, and, and Mowat and people like that. So that strength and depth, no injuries at the moment, apart from apart from uh, Robinson, who we expect to train tomorrow. Um, in that respect, it's been a good pre-season and, and, and um, we're delighted that we've come through it and got everybody in decent nick without picking up any injuries. You touched on Watford in your first answer, Steve. They got off to a good start against Sheffield United the other night. Mm. Are they... One of the best teams in this yes. division this year for you? Well, you'd expect that coming down from the Premier League. Certainly in forward areas, they've got good players with real pace and um, they're going to be a threat, that's for sure. So we're going to have to defend well. Um, but I'm hoping that we can cause them problems the other way too. It should be a cracker night against two really good teams of the Championship. And just finally, Steve... Akai Yukushlu, I think our supporters will be keen to know where he is fitness-wise. Yeah, yeah. Well... He's certainly in better condition yesterday and today, uh, the day before than he was a week ago. The key to it is is when we introduce him, and we've got to get that right. Um, but certainly, he, he with his, the way he trained yesterday, give us food for thought because um, he, he looks ready. He's there or thereabouts. So uh, I'll make the call of whether he's he'll be involved Monday. Whether he plays or not is another matter, but. Certainly I would envisage in the cup tie, that was what we're looking at.